All right, I wanted to take another quick look at another illustration. This is a this is a portrait illustration that I have done, and I've taken a photo of it, and I've gotten it onto the iPad as well. So I just wanted to show you real quick how easy it is to turn a drawing like this into a painting. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set the uh, the layer blend mode to multiply again. And I'm going to punch up the uh, the contrast just a bit with a curves adjustment. OK, so you can see that a lot of the work is done because in the illustration, we've got enough uh, textures. We've got a bit of, a, of an abstract look. We've got uh, good tones, good contrast, good value. So but the 90% of the work is already done. So really all we're going to do is just add a couple of colors on a background layer and we'll be like 95% of the way to having a completed painting. I'll show you what I mean. I've got the, um, the loaded with paint brush from the last example. And I'm going to be working on a layer underneath the drawing layer, which is again set to multiply blend mode. And I'm just going to add in these skin tones here. Super quick and easy. Not being too concerned with, with detail or getting outside the lines. Okay, I'm going to come back with a little bit of a lighter highlight. Just some of the highlight areas. And I'm going to blend that in just a little bit with the smudge tool. And I'm going to go over the whole thing here with a little bit of a yellow. And I'm also going to do red. And I'm going to take that same red. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit brighter. And just get the shirt here. And with the, the underdrawing and just this little bit of paint that we added, just enough, just right there, it gets us almost completed, almost a completed painting just from just from that little bit there, just because our drawing contains so much information already, so much detail that's needed for the painting that we're really just adding some color to um, get almost almost all the way to a completed painting. So that's one more reason that I really like working in this method because so much of the work is already done by the time I get to this point. I hope these examples give you an idea of how fun and easy it is to edit and enhance your pencil drawings in Procreate.